Hi, I'm April Virch and I'm from Pembroke, Ontario in the Ottawa Valley. I play fiddle and sing and step dance. My music is a blend of traditional roots styles from across North America and beyond. Um, my repertoire includes a lot of traditional material, but also a little bit of contemporary stuff. And I love to write music, which is great because it kind of helps bring all of the different genres together. My passion is performing. I love all aspects of the music business, but performing is my favorite. I'm really fortunate to be able to tour full-time with the April Virch Band. We're a trio, and in addition to myself, it features Hayes Griffin on guitar and mandolin, and Cody Walters on bass and claw hammer banjo. WOMEX stands for World Music Expo, and the organization is based in Berlin and their role is to support and develop uh, world music on the international scene. So each year they have their one key event, which is really amazing, and it's the trade show, um, the expo, which integrates the showcases and music and film and networking opportunities and awards, all kinds of great things, um, into this one event, which is attended by key industry people from all over the world. And each year it moves into a different European city. And I think they receive something like 900 applications for showcases and they only select 36. So it's a really great opportunity. My key objective in attending Wilmex was to make international contacts in all aspects of the music business. We wanted to make inroads in the international touring scene and it's the perfect place to do that. I think the most important and unusual thing that we did in applying for Womex was to view the application process as the final step instead of the beginning of our Womex experience. When I decided to apply to Womex, I tried to make a plan so that we could do something important and special. Um, the actual application itself is an online process, and so there's not a lot of leeway in what you can present to them other than what they're asking you to attach. And so I made sure that my materials were the very best they could be in video samples and music and photographs and that kind of thing. But in terms of researching, we looked at where Womex was going to be held, what cities it was going to be held in in the upcoming years. And then we tried to think about where the best fit would be for me musically, and also where could we go and tour and release a record without the help of Womex um, in advance of our application to kind of lay some groundwork and get some name recognition. And that's when we decided that Cardiff in the UK would be the best choice. And in hindsight, it was, a, it was a very smart decision. And from that point, we decided to plan everything around it and act as if we were going to get the showcase for sure. Um, and we released my new record in the UK, toured in support of it, um, hired a publicist. And we did what we could in other European regions as well. So that when our application was being reviewed, hopefully some of the jury members who are spread out across Europe heard about my name before or the record. And when I say we, I'm referring to Frank Horn, who is with Near North Music, and he is my agent and my manager, and is um, a tremendous asset to my team. I could have done this without him, but not nearly as well. And Frank um, helped with all of this, but he also attended Womax before we went to kind of get a hands-on feel for everything, and met a lot of people that we were able to call later and say, hey, we got the showcase, now what do we do? So um, I think all of that came together to make our application successful. My Womex experience was really exciting. We worked towards it for so long that to finally be there and see it all come together was a great feeling. Some music conferences can be a little formal or stiff somehow, and Womex was extremely welcoming. Everybody I met from all the different international booths in the exhibit hall were really welcoming and really had a positive attitude. It was really, really inspiring to be around it and the great music that's happening everywhere you turn. It's really important to make the most out of your time at Womex. 
And in order to do that, we studied and researched the delegate list to find out who was going to be attending, who did we want to meet. Um, we tried to set up a lot of meetings in advance, but when we couldn't, we wrote down booth numbers and made a plan to meet them in the exhibit hall and go and introduce ourselves. And we invited people to our showcase. Um, it's sometimes you get so busy planning everything else that you forget we need to have people show up. We used the contacts that we already had from touring or in the media and said, hey, come to our showcase and if you don't mind, tell your friends. And that helped to create a bit of a buzz as well. My showcase at Womex had a wonderful impact on my career. First, there are the immediate results that you see while you're still there, securing a few festival bookings. Um, and then when we got home, we secured agency representation in some new markets. So all of that um, met with our goals. But equally as importantly, it was a catalyst for more, and we keep seeing the results. People that are hearing about the showcase, um, and people that we didn't even meet. Um, and being able to mention it gives us credibility and um, kind of keeps the, the buzz building. So it was definitely a, a wonderful experience. I feel really lucky to have had it. I think artists that want to showcase at Womex should make sure they're at the right point in their career. Um, I had a great experience. If I had done this five or even two years earlier, I probably wouldn't have had the same success. So to make sure that you have a strong team to support you and um, you have you know, recordings that you can promote where you can go and lay the groundwork in advance and tour internationally and, and get some press. Those things kind of all add up to make the experience um, the best that it can be once you're there. I think all of those pieces, if they're in place, can come together to make sure that you have the most successful showcase experience that you can possibly have. The support that we received from the Canada Council for the Arts was really tremendous. They supported us financially, um, not just me and my band, our, our travel and hotels, but also my manager and agent, Frank Horn, so that he could be there and attend. Um, also their endorsement of our showcase, being able to tell all of these key industry people that they were behind us and that our home in the exhibit hall was at the Canada Quebec booth and um, helping us plan and giving us advice in advance, and most importantly, just their endorsement of our showcase um, really meant a lot to everybody that we spoke with. As I look back on my Womex experience, the big picture before, during, and after, I realized that planning really was the key, and it's what made for a successful experience. Um, really setting out our goals and then making a plan of how we were going to achieve them and being persistent um, paid off and I enjoyed the entire process and I'm really looking forward to continuing to see all of the results as they happen.